So today is June 14th and I'm updating my standing desk. Um, what I found when I made it was that initially I really loved it. The problem was I didn't have enough working surface. It was good for the computer, but if I had to do some writing or anything else, then um, I didn't have enough space to do it. And I have this great white top desk that's just huge. So we looked around and said, so how can we modify this? So what we did was we took an existing bookcase and we measured how tall the tabletop needed to be and we found how we could create the level without going to the expense of having to rebuild and rebuild and rebuild. So we found these these drawers at Target and not only do they give me the height but they give me additional storage space for um, whatever it is that I have that needs to be stored that doesn't need to have access every day. Um, and then we found one of these kitty cubicles. It's a two by three, and it was the perfect height for this end of the table. And then we ha I have a file cabinet, and I found another drawer at Target that was a different height that also brought the tabletop up to what I needed. Well, and then I found that that was fine, except that now the computer wasn't at the right level. So I got two more of these shelves, and made a modified desk for my computer. And what's nice about this is when I'm working on my computer, I can bring the computer close to me, and if I need to work on my workspace, this just slides back and forth. So it creates as much or as little workspace as I need right in front there. And that's one of the reasons also that, and as I'm finding, I'm modifying things and how things are laid out in my office now with where things go in which drawer based on what I use the most and what I don't want to have to bend down to get too often. So I've got more drawer space in here. I've got a slide out tray here for more. And those are the things that I use most often. And then I've got more drawer space and file cabinets here for what I need. And then my, my pretty corner has now moved all to this part so that when I have to push back my drawers for the computer, I have plenty of space behind it and I don't have to worry about what's being knocked off. Um, the other thing that I did was the, that great cushion that I made with the heavy-duty foam is now over on this side for when I use my accounting computer. What I found was that wasn't enough cushion even for if I'm going to stand every day. And so I went online and I found a physical therapy balance cushion. Now, um, they're not that expensive. I think I paid $45 for this one. About two inches thick, but I remember when I was doing physical therapy, I was actually using a small version of this um, in my physical therapy work. But it's a very dense foam and it's um, you could almost bounce on it. And I find that my feet are much happier standing on this cushion than they were on even the heavy-duty foam. So moral of the story, heavy-duty foam isn't meant for a all-day standing pad. And if you're going to do that, find something that really will make a difference in your comfort as you're standing there. And then the shelf that I had initially bought for my computer before we raised the desk up, I just turned around and put back here behind me so that now my accounting computer is standing as well and I don't have to have any chairs behind me here. Um, I've just got my accounting computer when I need it standing. It's working great. Um, things that I need now instead of being way back by the wall are right under the computer in the cubbies that I was using before on the lower uh, desktop. And that is my now modified standing desk. It's working beautifully. It's been a number of, almost a month now, and um, it works beautifully. I feel great um, whether the scale shows it or not. I am getting exercise all day long, and especially with this balance pad, I can, I can actually use it for balance in what I was doing with my uh, physical therapy, and that is balancing on one leg at a time and m strengthening and um, uh, improving my own balance while I'm working. 
Uh, the, the evolution of this will continue to change. The main point is the, the foundation of the desk is now set and I can change it uh, as needed, but for the most part I have a working surface, I have a computer that is easy for me to use, and I'm a happy camper. Everything you need to think about when you are setting up your home office, where are you going to work, is it going to be comfortable for you, and are you going to be able to spend as much time in your office behind your desk doing whatever it is you're choosing to do uh, in the space that you create. For me now, the answer is absolutely yes. And added benefit. I have one of my boys here with me. It's, he's just moved here from under the desk, but this is one of the places he sits. My office sitting area. He will often use that chair. And he's taken to under my desk here, um, right behind this step stool. There's a space between the step stool and the desk, and he will often just slide right in there and just kind of bur burrow in there and make himself comfortable and stay there until I move. Oh, and then the other one did join us. And here's Pop, and he's just settled into his bed, and they're both happy little campers, just pleased as punch that I'm here and they're able to be here with me, and um, everybody's getting done what they're supposed to be done during the day. So, thanks for joining me.